This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. We got Roddy Rich uh, reacting to the song in the cut. Dropping, uh, nobody dropped this. It got leaked out. Drake and Roddy Rich. It was, I guess it was Roddy Rich's song. He said, who leaked my song? Um, it's hot, but uh, this fuels rumors that Drake is dropping an album next week. And it's going to be on YouTube, uh, like some YouTube type of performance or something going on. I think he's actually going to drop an album. That'll be interesting. He just dropped a project two months ago. I mean, it was a cool project. It was, uh, you know, fillers. But uh, there was like two hot songs on there. Anyways, let's get to the next piece of news. Joe Budden reacts to Freddie Gibbs versus Academics. He agrees with academics on talking about numbers and everything with Freddie Gibbs versus Jeezy. But as far as relevancy, he, he thinks that Freddie Gibbs is more relevant because he's dropping projects now and, you know, does shows now. Well, when he can do shows again. And Jeezy's focus is somewhere else. Then they talk about academics and his tone talking about Freddie Gibbs and about his son. But Freddie Gibbs brought his son into it by saying, my son's bedroom is bigger than your house or whatever, or something like that. That, that Freddie Gibbs kind of took it to an area where academics was saying, I have more money than, you know, he kept saying I have more money and this and that and bragging about his status. Freddie Gibbs invited that and Freddie Gibbs pl playfully talks back, like he just playfully argues with people. It's never too serious to him. He's more of like a joker, which is, I, that's the kind of thing I like about Freddie Gibbs. That's what I like about him. He jokes around about stuff. Meek Mill took it to another level, green lighting academics and this and that, and uh, celebrating, you know, there's like too much. But uh, Freddie Gibbs was just having fun with it. And it is what it is, okay? Then we got two chains. This is funny. All right. Nobody caught on to this. So two chains endorses Kanye. He says, oh man, this is going to be great, you know, and says that he's going to be the guy. Then he says, too bad I voted early. That was hilarious. I'm going to tell you why it's hilarious. I'm going to read it to you why it's hilarious. Two chains lied. Okay, so Kanye West says, we must not realize the promise of America, trusting God, unifying our vision, building a future. I'm running for president 2020. Two chains says, Damn, I voted early. Real talk. You didn't vote for president early, buddy. You voted for the primaries. The primaries, so that you can't even vote for the president yet. That the national convention didn't even happen for the Democrats and Republicans yet. That's where they officially announce who's running for president. July 13th through 16th is the Democratic one. We already know Trump in August is the national convention you know, and then trump announces his official running for presidency in august november 3rd's election day here's the rules for voting early georgia fourth monday prior to a primary or election as soon as possible prior to a runoff friday immediately prior to a primary election or runoff that's the time you do it that's when you do it. You don't even know. They haven't even announced official people yet. So anyways, <laughs> he lied about that. Kanye West is interesting. A lot of people are saying it's like voting for Trump and all that. But it's like if, if, if he supports Trump, right? It's like, why is he running against him then? I, I, I don't know. There was a lot of rumors going around, but that made those rumors make sense now that he was faking it before just to help his wife out getting close with Trump. I don't know what's going on here. It's really weird. Tiffany Haddish mocked it today, saying uh, we must now realize the premise of America, trusting God and unifying our vision, building our future. I, too, am running for president. She said Dave Chappelle will be my running mate. Then uh, Paris Hilton got into the phone and said Paris Hilton for president. President Paris, I like the sound of that. That's hat. Make America great again. It is funny. Anyways, guys, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm just taking it easy today. Back. I'm going to still 
do another video before the night's over. And, you know, it's just like not a lot going on today. So kind of took it easy so I could go back to it 100% tomorrow. Appreciate you guys, and I hope you guys are having a great positive day. Believe in yourself. You're worth it, and you're capable of anything. That's a fact. Peace.